Hello lords and ladies, my name is Archaic King and welcome back to my let's play of Story of Seasons Tree of Towns. In the last video you may recall that I forgot to turn my mic on uh, and so uh, I had to redub the entire thing. So today I have definitely made sure that my mic is on so I don't have to redub this. But in between videos I have learned a couple of things. First off, I now know why my stamina decreases more than I remember it decreasing. I'm on veteran mode. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't occur to me when I first saw that my stamina was like decreasing much quicker than I remember it doing in the first story seasons, uh, but now I, now I know. And maybe that also has something to do with the time passing in the house, because maybe on Seedling mode, it's like, oh, when you go into your house, time stops, so you have a, a little bit of a breather. You, you know, you have time to formulate a plan. So, maybe that's what that was. Um, it, it probably, I think that's probably it. Like, if I had another save file, I would go test that out. Uh, unfortunately, I don't. My sister has the other save file. So, now we know that. Um, also, a, a, a fan... Uh, a viewer asked, and I don't remember if I mentioned this in the previous video, whether in the original version or in the redub, but he asked if I, or she, I can't remember <laughs> if it was a guy or a girl, I asked if I had a plan, um, and I didn't, not really. I was just going to play it by ear, sort of like I did with the uh, previous story seasons, but I decided uh, maybe I should plan out what I'm doing, especially given... <laughs> How confused I was with the stamina thing so um, Tech Raptor put out a really cool uh, list article about the seven ways to farm your way to glory in trio towns so I kind of wrote some of that down so our first thing that we uh, want to do is plant turnips and potatoes I believe uh, but I also have some radish here instead <laughs> But we are going to like till every available, um, every available plot of land, every available plot of land. Yeah, I was tongue tied today as well. So let's see. Uh... Also, somebody mentioned it, but they're like, "Are you wait? You know, are you fully waiting? Um, or waiting? Wow, I can't talk today." Are you watering until your character stops? And I thought I was, but I think the stamina thing had like freaked me out, so I didn't. So let's like let's see this. Yes. Okay. There you go. Fully watered it. So we're gonna water this. We'll probably get. We can probably water at least one more after this. I can't remember if I already watered these earlier today, but this might be our nighttime watering. Because that's something I didn't figure out for a very long time in the previous story of seasons. Which is um, that you can water in the morning, um, and then of course you can water uh, at night. So that's something to keep in mind. And now we start a new day. Uh, oh, we're now we're going to be learning some more stuff. Okay, you in? Pardon me. We're about to learn about the Town Link rank. Now, I read about this on Tech Raptor's uh, article, but I, I'm not quite sure what it is. How's it going? Getting used to farming life? Reckoned it was about time I stopped by to tell you about Town Link rank. Put simply, your Town Link rank is a measure of how close the connection is between your farm and the three towns. Farmers produce crops and other stuff to sell to the towns, and the towns then take those things and make them into stuff for everyone to use. One can't get along too well without the other, you know? They both gotta work together. That's why if you're gonna be a farmer, you've gotta have good connections with the towns. In other words, a good town link rank. Now, there's six different levels of your town link rank, ranging from E to S. You can raise your rank with a town by doing part-time jobs in that town, shipping your products there, and going to their festivals. Those are only a few examples, though. There's lots and lots of different ways to raise your town link rank. You can check out what your current town link rank is in the menu. Here, I'll show you. Okay, so there it is. It's that third one, the little journal. Uh, go on and select the third tab down on the menu, the memo icon. That's where you can take a gander at your town link rank. How about we take a look at it right now? Here's where your town link rank with West Town is displayed. Right now, it's an E. The bar to the side shows how strong the bond between your farm and that town is getting. 
When it fills all the way up, you'll bump up to the next rank. It's not very high. It's at zero. Raising your rank with a town will get you lots of neat stuff. Shops might start carrying more products, for example. So you go on and raise that rank as best you can. You hear? I will do my best, Uncle Frank. Town link ranks. How interesting. I should check that out in the menu screen. I already did, I guess. I mean, I guess officially I didn't. So, but then we can check it out. So yeah, there's our... Oh, it's actually raised a little bit. I didn't, uh... They made it sound like there was... I hadn't moved up uh, very much. <clears throat> I can also check... Memos and part-time job notes. Huh. I wonder why it says I haven't received any jobs. I thought I did one. Maybe that was just a test one. Alright, well... It's a brand new day. Another day of me... <laughs> trying to figure out what in the heck I'm going to do. So, uh, I think one of the things I want to do is get some more seeds. Because I don't remember if I... Let's see, what seeds do I have right now? I don't think I have any. At least I don't have them equipped. I have... Let's see where... Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I think I planted everything. That's why I don't have any. So, I think we're going to go into town and see if we can go about buying some seeds. Because uh, the Tech Raptor article was like, Hey, yeah, you should plant some... Uh, what is it? Yeah, turnips and potatoes, and um, and I don't I don't see those. I didn't see them when I went to the shops, anyways. But yeah, it's been so long since I last played Story of Seasons um, that I'll probably be relearning a few things. You know, uh, for example, the tip to water until your character actually stops watering. <laughs> is one that I had to learn in the, the previous Let's Play. So it, it feels like this is going to be me just like relearning everything, which is a little sad because, you know, <laughs> I don't want to have to relearn everything that I already did. But, you know. Let's see if we can get it. We need to do a part-time job every day if we can. Uh, let's see. I can show you. Uh... Well, we don't have any of this, but we can be an item carrier for Megan. So yeah, let's go ahead and accept that job. Um, we could probably do Lizette's too, if I uh, now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and grab hers. And I don't remember who Carrie is. Oh no, we were okay. I'm okay. I got confused. Okay. All right, you're good to go. If you have any questions, just check your part-time job notebook. See, I was looking at the wrong part of that. Like, let's go to our notes. Um, our client is Miranda. It's not Megan or Lizette. So we need to find Miranda, who I for already forgot where she lives. Um, but I think it's up here, right? No, that's the town farm. Is, I was about to say, is that Miranda? No, that's Noelle. <laughs> oh, there she is. Luckily, I can see her face on the, uh, the town map. Morning to you, too. Now, that was a chipper greeting. If you ever need anything, you come on over and see me. You hear? Take care of folks is a hobby of mine. I thought I was supposed to talk to her. Let me look at my notes again. I can sure you some help delivering a package to Megan. Oh, I have to, uh, okay, I see the hint now. Regular hours. When is that? This is her shop, right? The general store? When did you open? 10 o'clock. Okay. Well, since it's closed right now, I'm gonna head back to my farm. Like, it's going to take me a while to get back into the routine of playing a, a Harvest Moon game. Because I, I like how I, like, I headed straight for town. I'm like, I'm going to go buy me some seeds. Whereas most people are probably like, well, archaic, it's, it's like, it's six. You know, it's, it, it's six o'clock. You'd be better off just watering the crops right now and then coming back. And you're right. And you're right. But like I said, it, it's it's been a long time since I last played Story Season. So you're going to have to forgive me for... You know, forgetting some things, which is it, which is sad because by the time I ended my uh, story seasons let's play uh, last year, I was like a pro. I had everything down. I was really good at it, <laughs> and now it's just like I'm an I'm, I'm a newbie all over again. It sucks. Let me go ahead and refill this. If I don't rem if I don't forget where the water source is every single goddamn day. There we go. I don't know why, but this looks like chocolate to me. <laughs> That's a weird, that might be a weird thing they say, but once the uh, the ground gets nice and wet, it just kind of looks like 
like a brownie like a brownie with nuts in it or something which is again a weird thought to think about so yeah once we finish watering this we should oh, oh I'm about... I was about to start watering that I'm like wait a minute okay there's there's nothing there can I catch this butterfly I wonder if I can sell the butterflies like can I ship the butterflies That'd be hilarious if I could. Well, I could send out like the walnuts or the weeds. Cause I'm not sure what I would do with the weeds. I think the weeds make fodder eventually, don't they? I can't remember. It's been a long time, but um, yeah. No, I, I don't, I can't sell like the butterflies, which is, which makes sense. I'm not sure what I would do with them though. So, so yeah, this is our, this is where we would put our cows. This is where we'd put our chickens. That's one of the things on the list as well, which is to get cows and chickens as soon as possible, uh, which I plan on doing, of course. Um, we still have plenty of uh, soil to till out in this direction, but we could probably expand. We just have to chop down some of these trees, but those will take up a lot of energy. I remember having to do that in the early days of uh, the last story seasons, and that was ridiculous. <laughs> It took me so long to eventually clear out my entire uh, my, my entire farm. And even then, eh, there were still some trees. I just like, ah, I'm leaving these here. It's not worth it. But yeah, we're going to have to upgrade our tools as well. I think the first one I'm going to try to upgrade is my watering can, which makes the most sense. I think everyone can agree is that uh, you want to upgrade your watering cans. Because that's the one you use the most, at least here in the beginning. Because you only till the soil when you need to. Oh, we're uh, we're getting a scene here. We are now open. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, okay, it's just letting me know that all the shops are open now. Because it's 10 o'clock, which means I can finally head up to, what was it? I think it was a general store, right? I already forgot what Miranda's store was. Yeah, it was a general store. So now we should be able to accept the, uh, the two different part-time jobs we got from her but now we're actually eating another scene entirely the language of flowers oh and there's Lizette too welcome RK sorry about that I was so into the conversation it took me a second to notice you were there what were we talking about Lizette was teaching us about the language of flowers do you know anything about that, RK? Not, not a, not a clue. I didn't know if flowers had a language. <laughs> That's all right. Neither do we. But the more Lizette teaches us, teaches us about it, the more interesting it becomes. You're probably growing some flowers at the farm, right? No, not really. Why don't you learn a little while you're here? Well, maybe now I will, I'll be able to uh, plant some flowers, which I probably should have bought some seeds yesterday, but just like slipped right past me. I'm still learning myself, so I can't teach you much, but I'd be more than happy to tell you what I do know. Hey, RK, did you know there's a flower that means love? It's the, um, which one was it again? Is it the, the rose? Do you mean the one we were talking about before? The red rose? Yeah, yeah, that one. Aw, oh, you just taught me about it and I already forgot. I just noticed that Lizette... Her fla the flower next to her is already purple. And I think it starts off, what, white? I think it starts off white. I can't remember. Uh, I chose the Charmer personality, which I may have mentioned in the previous video, either in the dub or the original. But that increases, like, your base friendship points with everybody by, like, 10,000, maybe? So we're, like, on our way to, like, if once we find the, the, the woman that I want to marry... I will be on my way to wooing her already. That and being friends with just like generally everybody. Trying to remember everything in one go is really hard, so I wouldn't fret about it, Noel. The red rose is symbolic for affection, but even the same flower can have a different meaning if the color or shape is different. Not to mention the meaning can vary from country to country as well. There's a lot to the language of flowers and it can get pretty complicated. I can imagine. That's so. Seems learning all the nuances is gonna take a while then. If it's okay with you, Lizette, could you teach us some more about the language of flowers? 
Of course, I'm really happy that you're all so interested in this. But can I leave? <laughs> okay, let's see. Bellflowers are very popular at my shop. Those symbolize gratitude. And then Margaret, Marguerite daisies are associated with love fortune telling. Really? <laughs> the meaning for that one is pretty much a given. Yeah, Marguerites are easy to understand. The red rose meaning affection is also pretty well known, right? Yeah, even I got it right. Really? I wonder how Colin would react if I gave him one. You think he'd be able to tell how much I love him? No, oh, that's cute. <laughs> Aren't boys usually the ones giving girls the flowers? You know, it's not all that uncommon for customers to choose flowers based on their meanings. I hope your feelings get through to him, Noel. No, That's a little cute. Yeah, thanks, Lizette. I gotta start saving up some money. Oh gosh, look at the time. Sorry, everyone. I have to head back to the shop now. Okay, thanks for the lesson, Lizette. Next time you're free, I'd love to hear more about the language of flowers. It'd be my pleasure. I was only able to cover a handful of flowers, but I had a wonderful time teaching you all. If you ever find yourself shopping for flowers, it might be fun to try and think about the meanings as you pick them out. Is it really the language of flowers? It seems more like the the meaning of flowers or the, the the symbols of flowers or something like that. The symbolism. Okay, Miranda, Noel, I'll see you all later. That girl sure loves her flowers. I'm impressed she found something to be so passionate about at her age. Now I kind of want to put some flowers around the house. Pretty up the place, you know? Mama, buy some red roses. I'm going to give them to Colin. What happened to saving up money, girl? Hey, now. I said I wanted to put them in the house. What's the point if you take them? <laughs> Kids, am I right? All right, time to get that quest from her, or that job, really. And it also seems to have a star above her head. I'm not sure if that's indicating that she's the one who gives us the part-time job or something else, but I'm assuming so. I've been waiting for you, okay? Delivery job, right? Oh, wow, it's actually wrapped up as a present. Oh, she's gonna give me freaking two. <laughs> nice. Here's a package that needs delivering. Who it goes to is written right here on this memo. Now then, off you go. Okay. I wonder if they'll have like a symbol above the, the recipient's head or anything like that. Because Lizette's right here, so she's a florist. Okay. You know, to me, Lizette reminds me of the girl I ended up marrying in the, the previous story seasons, whose name I can't remember, which is pretty awful considering I married her and spent a lot of time winning her affection. But it reminds me of her. You know, she's that kind of like normalish girl. Oh, nope, come back here. Oh, is that package for me? Yep. Yes, this is what I requested. Thank you very much. Uh, I thought there'd be more fanfare, but that's okay. Now, the next one we have to do... The next one we have to give is to... Let me go ahead and check my memos. Part-time job notes. Okay, that one was delivered. The next one is to Megan. And Megan is... She lives near our house, if I'm correct. So, I'm going to head down that way. And give her my present. Now, it seems like every day we're learning something more or we're getting new scenes. So I don't think I have to worry anytime soon about not figuring out what to do. But, uh, cause that was a worry. Cause I was like, oh, you know, I don't need a plan. But then I got a little bit worried that I would definitely need one uh, in these early videos, but luckily not. I mean, I do have a plan, but we, you know, we're not close to uh, having nothing to talk about. Oh, a package for me, hmm? Yes, this is exactly what I was waiting for. Thanks, dear. All right, now that's done. Do I have, I don't remember if I need to head back. Let me see. I don't think I do. Ah, yeah, all I gotta do is wait for the payment. So that's pretty much done. All right, so let's head back into town. I'm actually liking West Town. I'm not a fan of Westerns or that type of genre. Or even that type of like location really setting is what i'm talking about um but this is actually pretty cool now i'm trying to figure out where i would need to buy seeds from like there's a general store um 
I was here in the previous video, I think, and I don't remember if I remember seeing any seeds. There's some grass seeds. Um, I could buy some of this, but we don't have any cows or chickens at the moment, so I don't really see the point. There's some flowers. Don't need that just yet. I'm trying to remember where I would actually buy some seeds from. That's the animal shop. That's the grocery store. We were there. I don't remember seeing any seeds, but I mean, I could check anyways. No, that's just cinnamon and walnut. Okay, um... Maybe it'd be up here. That's the post office, obviously. I like how they have a train. That's pretty cool. That's the restaurant. That's the florist. So if we wanted to buy some flowers, we could go down there. And there's Lizette. Let's talk to her again. Because we might end up wooing her. I'm, I still haven't really decided on a on a, uh, on a a bachelorette yet. This shop, Thousand Bouquets, was originally run by my parents. Business went so well, they decided to open a second flower shop. They left to go take care of that new shop and left me to take over the original one here. Oh, that's interesting. They have a lot of faith in you. Uh, we've got just about everything you need when it comes to farming. Anything I can do for you? Yes. Okay, cool. So she might have some seeds. Yes, yeah, she does. So radish, potatoes, a pocket calendar, a portable calendar with various plans written on it. Holy crap. That's interesting because we have a calendar at the house, but we don't have a pocket one. Um, let's see. All right, well, there aren't any turnips. Uh, I thought, I could have sworn turnips was a spring one, but maybe they just don't have any. Um, but we do have some potatoes. Let's see, the price is, it says the price is 110, but it says here they're 440 on the bottom screen at least. Um, so I'm gonna buy, oh dear. Uh, I hate wasting my money. It's not really, really wasting my money. I just don't like uh, spending a lot of it. But, you know, you got to spend money uh, to make money. Am I right? Am I? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely right. So let's go ahead and buy that many. Um, um, should we buy some radish seeds? Yes, let's go ahead and buy some radish seeds. So we're basically poor now. <laughs> we, don't have much, uh, we don't have much gold left, but we can always do another part-time job if we need another one. Uh, I've also already noticed that we've gone over time. Um, if you guys want me to do longer videos, I'm not opposed to doing 30 minute videos because actually originally in my previous story since let's play, we did start off with 30 minute videos. Occasionally there would be a shorter one if I wasn't feeling well enough to, or I, didn't, I just didn't want to sit down and record for half an hour. But, um, eventually we did start decreasing the length of the videos. Um, which you can go watch the videos and you'll see why I was doing that. It was basically my plan all along uh, because as we started repeating stuff, I started like cutting out content and whatnot. Okay, so I think we have one more plot of land right here that we can plant something in. So let's go ahead and get out our, we can put, we can put our radish seeds here. I'm not sure if we're gonna have time or uh, the, enough energy to plant all of these, but we can try. We also do have some more food left. So uh, even if we get a little bit winded, one thing I need to make sure I do is I need to stop before he gets really tired. There we go. Okay, well now I'm getting really tired. So hold on, let me find my food. Okay, I can't like quick select it. I actually have to go into the menu and eat it. So let's go ahead and eat two potato breads. See how much energy that restores. Basically all. Holy crap. So we just need two more and we'll be good. So yeah, I've made things harder on myself, which is unfortunate with veteran mode. But, you know, who doesn't like a challenge every now and then? I mean, I don't. <laughs> I don't really like to be challenged too much. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it, right? I mean, I'm early enough into the Let's Play that I could considerably... Uh, I could start over if I wanted to and then choose seedling mode so I would have less of a difficult time, but I feel like that's a little disingenuous, right? You know, I mean, I don't think you guys care too much if I take on seedling mode, considering I've nearly forgotten like everything that I learned from the original, from the first story seasons game, but you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll keep going. I feel like, yeah, so what if my, uh, oh, no, I didn't finish. I don't need the water anymore. The one thing I wish that uh, the, the, the previous story scenes game did this and this is why I got confused in the first video 
uh, is because in the previous one, I think like it would stop highlighting it once you were uh, once you were done. Oh God, I was I was so scared I was gonna actually faint. Hold on, I need to eat another piece of bread because I want to make sure I I fully watered that. Okay, so I don't need to water that anymore. So that's all done. It's already two o'clock. So what do we have left to do, really? Uh, one of the things that I do need to do is I need to upgrade our house as soon as we can. That's like one of the first things that I actually need to do. Let me turn the light on here. Uh, let's see if anything's coming up on the calendar. Hector's birthday is coming up. I don't know what Hector likes, really. Um, and then, of course, Noelle's birthday, Wayne's birthday, uh, Marco's birthday. Uh, there doesn't actually seem to be any events listed here. I'm not sure if that's like an actual thing because usually they would keep the uh, the events there like there's a flower fair uh, And then of course a pumpkin jamboree, but that also could be because we're going to unlock more towns And so they don't want to like cram a bunch of events into just one of the towns uh, So I don't think there's anything left for us to do. We've already watered our crops. Uh, we don't have much money left I suppose we could do like one more um one more uh, part-time job, but I don't think we can uh, because the other ones involved specific items that I don't actually have. Let me see if I can sell these flowers. Because if so, that would help at least earn me. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's ship that. Um, it won't make us much money, but it'll help us get some more income. There also should be other... Uh, wild flowers growing around like oh there's like some mint there's some weeds that I'm, I'm picking up for no reason at all but yeah that's probably going to be the end of this video uh, as you can see we've already reached 30 minutes again uh, if you want the videos to stay at 20 minutes uh, leave a comment below uh, or if you want them to increase to 30 minutes let me know that too uh, because you know some people like the shorter videos for some reason uh, and other people like longer videos so I, I want to make sure I account for those who want a specific type oh I didn't even actually water this let's let's make sure to water this before we leave <laughs> and there you go I'm feeling kind of tired well you should sleep okay and that's it for this video, boys and ladies. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like or a comment. And feel free to subscribe for more Story Seasons Tree of Towns content. Take care.